Okay, so this is to show you how to install HFSS. Uh, you go to the folder that I gave you, and then uh, there are some uh, installation instruction, but uh, you will go to this folder, and then this folder, and then finally go to ANSYS EM. So I will download this whole folder. So I will right click and then click download. So while it is shipping, I will go back to the top directory and download this installation instruction for the uh, EM. So it takes a few minutes to finish. Now, if you look at the, what we have downloaded, it is a little bit uh, strange that, uh, that, that it put the data 2 and data 3 outside. And by the way, these are the old files that I had, or I, I need to delete them, uh, right? So what you have downloaded are all these. The first thing you want to unzip them, right? This is the whole project. So you just say uh, double click and then just uh, extract it. You just extract them, right? In my case, I uh, just click the extract all on the top right and I just uh, extract it, right? So I got all the file here. Now, but you do see that I only have data one. If you go back to the original uh, setup, right? You, you do see that uh, in the folder, the original file structure, they put the data one, data three, data two, and data one in the same folder. But because of the way uh, Google zip it, they it, it was uh, put in uh, another directory. So because of this, I will need to uh, go back to the download. I will go to uh, move this two folder right back to here. I mean this two file, and then I will rename it instead of zero uh, zero two. I we'll just delete this one to be data uh, two and this one to be data three. Okay, then I will start the uh, setup. Okay, then we just follow the instruction, agree with everything, agree with the location etc local installation uh, I don't want to integrate with the old version I mean integrate in the future I just make it simple you decide what to do okay and then now the license file I need to set up so I will say I want to specify the license server so here you just put port 1055 and then the server comes from the file that you downloaded earlier. You double click into there, you will see the server in this test file, right? And then you just copy and paste. Then you can finish the rest of the installation. Now it has a warning about C++, uh, you can ignore it, I think, right? I will just ignore it and just uh, keep going and let it install. Okay, the installation has finished. Then let's start the uh, program, but make sure to connect to VPN. Okay, I've connected to VPN. This is necessary in order to uh, check out the license. And then we type uh, ANSYS, Electronic Desktop 2002, 2022. Okay, and then let's look at the next video, how to use it.